Long after the houses fell into ruin and the families moved away, people still visit the only remaining structure in a tiny community turned ghost town. The good daughter is still here and that is still a place we look forward to coming to it on the weekends and for worship. Brothers Pudge and Sarge Bawa were born and raised in Faldi, west of Duncan. Well, our house uh, was right here. They say the 100-year-old Sikh temple is a symbol of what the town once stood for. The Japanese, the Chinese, the white boys, and everybody got along. It's just like one big family, and everybody helped each other. Baldi was unique. If stories of racism and conflict exist, they're hard to find. It was quite harmonious, and, and uh, everybody was uh, welcome. Just look at the faces in this school photograph. Think of how unusual this was back then. And the diversity wasn't only displayed through classroom friends and co-workers. There was romance, too. Joan Mayo married the eldest son of the town's founder, Mayo Singh. Not your typical union in the early 1950s, but if that seems significant, there's more. Her father-in-law, an Indian immigrant, created the town in 1917, 30 years before South Asians could even vote. That's the foundation Baldi was built on. All the different nationalities and how nobody paid any difference. It was a wonderful way to grow up. Joan describes Mayo Singh as an entrepreneurial man who recognized the economic opportunity of BC's forests. They were looking for a place on the island where there would be timber. And the story that I was told is that 35 men came over and they built a little mill here and made a little town. Named after a village in India and in Canada, centered on this mill. And from what I understand, anywhere there's a mill, there's always a school. So that's what happened to it, why it became a little village. But the work eventually died down with the mill's closure. And by the 70s, most families moved away. The houses that once stood here slowly vanished. A sad reality for those with roots in Baldi, but in some ways, the heart of the community lives on. We're uh, going to have a 100-year celebration. A celebration where they take comfort in knowing there's a key piece of history that remains, continuing to represent what the town once stood for.